tough loss today, but kind of like the fight from your team uh, against the number one team in the country. How do you think the team did? Yeah, I, I thought we had a, a really decent start, that we came out of the gates and um, and that we showed that we played well right with them. And then the way we finished the game, we challenged them at halftime, okay, to make sure that, hey, the, we, we stick to ourselves and, and play our style of lacrosse. When, and what got away from us today was in the second quarter. Uh, the second quarter, I thought uh, Boston College, uh, we, we made some plays, we made some stops, and then and then unfortunately we were our worst enemies. Okay, turned the ball over a few times on the clear, um, and then um, as well as just not executing on offense where we had some great looks. We hit a goal post and there, and great teams, the reason why they're great teams is they make you pay, and, Bo and Boston College did that to us today in the second quarter. You lose Nicole Peroni uh, before the first half ends from yellow cards. Uh, how does that affect the offensive yeah, plan? That def def definitely hurts. Nicole's been playing uh, playing out outstanding for us this year, and um, and and really, and she's she's a com competitor. She plays plays with her heart out on her sleeve, and and that stuff. And for us, we just gotta reel her in just a just a little bit to stay in court because she's a valuable component for us, and, and we need her on the field. We can't have her card out. Sarah, this is your third game, uh, kind of being the person on Charlotte North. Uh, you've only given up two goals. I mean, that's got to feel good. How, how do you think you did against her today? Um, I think I did a really good job today in um, shutting her off and even um, even uh, down to touches because the only times that she really truly touched the ball was when the ball went out of bounds and she brought it up. And um, I mean, going into the game, I watched our film against her from last year and seeing um, how she moves and how she plays and um, what she likes to do with the ball and even off ball. Um, to really make those adjustments to do my part in our team defense so I can shut her down so the rest of our team can do what they need to do. Coach, it's got to be pretty nice having a, a lockdown defender like Sarah. Oh, yeah, de definitely. If, if Sarah's not one of the best, she's probably the best shutdown defender in, in the terms of face guard. And, and I just uh, explained to our team, it's, it's like a dirty job. Okay, the, the offensive player and 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 uh, that we choose to shut down is a key component to their offensive system and their offensive output. And Charlotte North is arguably one of the best in the nation right now. And uh, for Sarah to be able to uh, neutralize her um, and and that stuff and limit her opportunities, like she's averaging nine, ten shots a game, and today I, I think she got she got four. Um, and a lot of them came off of like when we make our adjustments or man up when we come out of the face guard or. Um, and or through transition when it is a little bit difficult and we have to slide off her um, and and that stuff. But uh, Sarah, uh, she she loves that role. Uh, she she loves the role. She does it extremely well. And she gets fired up when hey when people people are saying like the matchup you got the best today in the nation coming in and she's your matchup and she responds really well to that challenge. Hannah Morris, uh, career high five goals today. She's obviously been a staple of the offense this year. I mean. You got to be pretty happy for her, right? Yeah, and and Stephanie, when you lose when you lose Prony early in the game like we did, and and that stuff too, and having having a girl, a girl like Hannah that's um, that's been stepping up, and and really we've been talking about the like the three headed like three headed monster, and and having a good supporting cast around them um, as well. But Hannah Hannah is uh, when she gets her hands free, and she she's one of our best shooters, and she can shoot. And today today she was on, and we were able we were able to find her um, as well. So it's good to see. Next game, uh, Wednesday against Cincinnati. Uh, any thoughts on how you compete there? Yeah, today was a tough day. It was a great lacrosse game. Okay, like great day for lacrosse, sunny in, in the seventies, and our, our the fan base was outstanding. Uh, over five hundred plus today at the game, and um, and that stuff too. But it, it, it's uh, it was it, it's draining on our team. Okay, it was draining on our team too, like uh, especially our starters and our and our key players too. They logged a lot of minutes. Um, that that was tough. Um, in our defense, so we need to rest a little bit, get get ready, um, fix some of our mistakes and what happened in the second quarter, and and then have a response. Um, and we play in the ACC for a reason, and uh, yeah, they're number one, but it doesn't get easier when you play number two, number three, number five, six, seven, nine, whatever they are, um, and that stuff. And we just go through a uh, go through a stretch, and and that in ACC play, and I think um, we just got to rest up and, and use and, um, and 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 stay healthy. Okay, when we stay healthy and, and, and Cincinnati, we're not going to overlook them. We'll make sure that we're ready and play, play in, playing at the top of our game and fine-tuning some of our systems. Sarah, how do you feel about the team bouncing back against Cincinnati next week? Um, I think in terms of our team, like we're such a um, tight-knit team and we have so much energy and so much um, 
just like unison and like I, this is a hard loss, um, but like we, at, the, at the end of the day we got better. In the second half we completely changed our game and we held BC um, five, five and five, so we were right on with them. And I think um, going off what Teeter said, just like recovering and learning from our mistakes and just bringing the, the energy we had in the first quarter at the start of the Cincinnati game, I think we'll be able to bounce back pretty well against them.